Hello, my young friends. Welcome to Sunday School. We're here in the Cloister Garden, and I'm over here in a special corner. And today I want to share with you from the book of Genesis, chapter 28, verses 10 to 19a, another story about Esau and Jacob. But first, let us pray. Dear God, thank you for allowing us to gather here in this way to learn your lessons and to remember that your light shines within us. So God, we ask that you help us to always look for the light in others. Amen. Wow, what a dream that was. Oh, can't believe it. Sometimes we do have dreams, don't we? Sometimes we remember them when we wake up and sometimes we don't. But Jacob, he remembered his dream. But first, let's go back a little. Remember, Esau made a deal with his twin brother, Jacob, that if he could have some soup, that he would give him his birthright because Esau was older than Jacob by a few minutes. And so they had made this deal. But I don't know, Esau probably thought Jacob would forget about it. But then Jacob did received the blessing from the father as the oldest son. And that made Esau mad. Boy, was he mad. And sometimes, you know, friends, in our families, we do get mad at each other, don't we? Well, Esau was so mad with his brother Jacob that Rebekah, their mother, said to Jacob, you know what, Jacob? Esau is really mad, and I don't know, he needs a little time to get over his anger. So I think it would be best for you if you go to visit some of our other relatives and stay there with them for a while. And so Jacob did. He took a long journey and he walked and walked until he got to a place that maybe might have been a lot like this with the stone, the coral rock here representing a hard place that Jacob stopped to rest. And he stopped, he rest, and he had a dream. And in his dream, he saw angels going, there was a stairway going from the earth up into the sky. And there were angels going up the stairs and down the stairs, up the stairs and down the stairs in his dream. And in his dream, Jacob heard these words from God who said, I am the God of Abraham and Sarah, of Isaac and Rebekah. This land where you are sleeping will be home for you and any family you have, which will be many. Know this, Jacob, that I am with you wherever you go. I will not leave you until I have done what I promised. And then Jacob, he woke up and he said, wow, this is an awesome place and surely God must be present here. Friends, we're here in this garden, in this place that we call Plymouth Congregational Church, United Church of Christ here in Coconut Grove. And surely God's presence is in this place and I cannot wait until we can all be together again here, remembering God's promise and working 
to live the way God would want us to, to bring that promise to everyone that we meet, which is God's love. It's for everyone. Go in peace. Amen.